end on this episode of It's Over, Ewan. It's over. Got this headline here. Ewan McGregor says they're exploring ideas for Obi-Wan Kenobi Season 2. He wants to wear the Clone Wars armor and do more flashbacks with Hayden Christensen. There is no chance. And I saw this online. Obi-Wan Kenobi, from Episode 1 to the final episode, lost about half of its audience. Half of its audience from episode one to the finale and it didn't make me remotely curious about any adventures he was going to go on after the prequel trilogy they went out of their way to emasculate this dude every single episode he couldn't do a single solitary thing right he needed to be constantly saved physically or in conversations He was a coward the entire time. Oh no, but that was what the story was. It was garbage. And then you had his his teary-eyed at a stop sign talking about, oh, you're not real Star Wars fans. Oh no, the the racial backlash. Reva was garbage. I wonder if Ewan McGregor, I think he might have produced the show. Let me take a look at that. Ah, yes, here. He was an executive producer on that show. Can you imagine that? Having executive producer control and saying, yeah, I want my character to be a pathetic waste of space who can't do a single solitary thing right and needs saving the entire time, who's just utterly utterly useless in every single scene. Unbelievable. Then he's, Like I said, then he's out there, tearful, uh, you're not a real Star Wars fan, defending Moses Ingram. Moses Ingram's character is crap. Moses, he's smarter than this. He, he should know. That they went out of their way and created one of the worst characters Star Wars has ever seen. Someone... (laughs) Just imagine that for a second. She survived Order 66, was single-handedly stabbed and left for dead by Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader. And then afterwards she said, hey, you know what I want to do? I was just, you know, kind of murdered by this dude. I'm going to spend my life working for the bad guys. Doing all these bad guy things so I can maybe one day be in the room with Darth Vader and take a shot at him with his back turned. Just this, just the idea of that. And I, I want to do a full on review of that though because it really reminds me of a movie called Traitor starring Don Cheeto, which, which is so much better. Which is so much better of a story. Than Moses Ingram's. Her her big plan of joining the bad guys. I'll talk about it another day. You know what? Screw it. I'll talk about it now. In the movie Trader, Don Cheeto's character was working for the U.S. government. And had to pretend he was a terrorist to get in good with them. And one scene, he had to blow up a construction site. And he placed this bomb after hours. And somewhere way off in the back of this place. Where no one would get hurt. And then it blew off and someone died. Completely by accident. He broke the F down. Crying, begging to God on the floor on his hands and knees, pleading for forgiveness. This dude was broken by this. Moses Ingram was bad the entire show. As a not, not, not bad actress. Bad guy the entire show. Did not show a single ounce of remorse for anything she's ever done. And that's the two biggest differences from that show and that movie. They were they're both pretending to be bad. To get to this one point here. Don Cheeto, remorseful, feels bad. You know there's good in him and you know what the plan is. Her character, uh, screw it. I not a single ounce of remorse and then she's like to Obi-Wan Kenobi why didn't you come save us as he was literally fighting clone troopers after fighting <laughs> after fighting General Grievous and killing him getting attacked by his own troops and then had to battle his best friend in single combat and leave him for dead on a volcano and she's upset that he didn't go to the Jedi Temple and save them instantly wow and you're surprised that we don't have a season two yet? And you and McGregor is surprised that there hasn't been any talks of what? It's been years. It's been years. And there's been no sniffing of a season two. You know why? This company has lost enough money as it is. 
they don't want to sink another hundred million dollars. Oh man, hundred million dollars. That would be a that would be a blessing for them. With the acolyte reported two fifty to three hundred, including marketing. Ooh. Hundred million dollars would be just bare bones of a show for Disney Plus Star Wars right now. So no, you ain't getting a season two, you and your 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 time your time is done. Your time is done. We liked you for a while. You were big for a while. Even outside of Star Wars, Ghost Rider, Doctor Sleep, you weren't bad, man. And then you had to go and attack the fans for justifiable criticism for a terrible, terrible show. But man, in the end, what do you guys think about that? You can't control me, I'm your